Hello everyone. Today our topic is loving like Christ. And our reading is taken from Ephesians chapter 5 from verse 25 where the the Bible commands husbands to love their wives as Christ loved the church and give uh, his life for for the church. Now the question most husbands ask is how do i love my wife as christ loved the church okay so i just want us to to take a deep dive into uh, into what this scripture is, is asking husbands to do now uh we'll read from the message translation message translation gives quite some in-depth um, explanation into the scripture he says, husbands, go all out in your love for your wives. He says, exactly as Christ did for the church. See, a love marked by giving. So you see, uh, a love marked by giving. This is one of the ways that you can love as Christ loved the church, by giving. What are you giving? There are a lot of things we, 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 we must give in a relationship. We must give our time, we must give resources, we must give our total affection, we must give our words of affirmation, we must give our service to our wives. It says a love marked by giving, not getting. And it goes ahead to say Christ's love makes the church whole. So it means there's a way to express love to your wife in such a way that by that singular act of loving her like Christ loved the church, she becomes whole. It says his words evoke her beauty. It means Christ's words evoke the beauty of the church. In, this, in a similar manner, our words as husbands should evoke the beauty of our wives. Everything he does and says is designed to bring the best out of her. You see, every single thing you do as a husband should be designed to bring out the best out of your wife. Okay, later I'll be giving us some more detailed examples of uh, how we can express this love. He says, dressing her in dazzling white silk radiant with holiness silk radiant with holiness and that is how husbands ought to love their wives so you see in this scripture alone you can see um, a few ways in which we can we can we, we can love our wives like christ loved the church I will just share a few ways we can we can love our wives like Christ loved the church. One, we need to respect our wives, honor her voice and opinion. So, whatever you need to listen to her when she speaks, you know, some husbands they feel that they are uh, on a higher level than their wives. But the Bible tells us that God created us equals. He says, and God created them in his image and likeness. And in his image, he created them male and female. He created them. So it means husbands and wives are equals. So you need to respect and honor your wife. Not raising your voice. Anything that you do that represents a disrespect towards your wife translates to you not loving her like christ loves the church hmm. so respect her voice and give her conversations and communication attention you know sometimes uh, my wife would tell me some things and those things reveal to me certain things that she desires these things register in my mind and i keep thinking about them and thinking of ways i can 
bring them to reality. That means I respect her word, I respect her desires, I respect her opinions. And secondly, another way you can love your wife the way Christ loved the church is by sacrificing for her. You sacrifice for your wife. How do you sacrifice for your wife? Put her needs ahead of yours. The third one is giving emotional support. It says, husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. So, I need to respect her emotions. Whatever I... Okay, each time I... I, 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 I I speak to my wife before I speak out the words I think about it how will it make her feel if I feel um, she won't take them uh, well I have a way of bringing some euphemism to lighten the impact of the words why because I care about her, her emotions first Peter chapter 3 verse 7 says husbands in the same way Treat your wives with consideration as a delicate vessel. Our wives are delicate. It says, and we honor as, they are, as, as fellow heirs of the gracious gift of life, so that your prayers will not be hindered. So if you don't respect your wife's emotions, your prayers can be hindered. The fourth, the fourth one is defend her and honor her over your family. You know, the Bible says, For this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother, and he shall be joined to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. It's important to understand what uh, this leaving your father and mother and cleaving to your wife to become one flesh really means it means that she becomes priority it, it means that you two become one one flesh so who doesn't honor his own body we all honor ourselves right we all res i mean we, we all desire respect for our own selves so the same way we should we should respect, we should defend our wives. Okay, ever since we, we got married, I decided never to allow anyone to disrespect my wife. Not my father, not my mother, not my siblings, nobody. Certain times I had to, to be harsh, you know, on my parents or my siblings because of the way they, they either spoke to my wife or or, or, or responded to her. Why? Because I am her defender, just like Christ is our defender. Christ loved the church and defended the church and is still defending the church right now. There's a tendency for husbands to want to play safe, you know, and say, okay, uh, let me just be in, in between, not offend my parents or my siblings. Look, You're simply not loving her like Christ loved the church. I'd rather be hated by every other person and loved by my wife. The fifth one is lavish her with affection. Love and compliments. Just brag about your wife. Brag about her. You know, you know I tell my wife how beautiful she is every day. And I tell her how much I love her every day. Husbands, say it. Say it. Don't keep it in your, in your heart. She can't read your mind. Say it. Speak out. Tell her how beautiful she is. Lavish her with affection. You know, my wife, sometimes she runs away from me. She, it's, it's too much for her. This is how it should be. The Bible uh, tells, says, 
that we cannot tell the depth or width or breadth or height of God's love for us. It's unfathomable. This is the way Christ loved us and gave his life for us. In the same way, we ought to love our wives with affection, chasing her. You know, this kind of love that leaves the 99 and goes for that one. Chase her. You know, often um, during the courtship period, during the dating periods, you find men, you know, going, at, going all lengths for their wives. But the moment they get married to her, they've achieved, becomes an achievement. And then they step into a comfort zone and they no longer chase. This is one of the causes of failed marriages. Never stop chasing. Keep chasing. Keep pursuing her. Proverbs 1 verse 28 says, Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also. And he praises her. I can go on and on and on. But for today, I want to stop here. I hope you are blessed. And um, talk to you some other time.